I'm Bethany Bowman for 810 Varsity. We're joined today by Savannah High School running back, Kate Chappelle. Thank you so much, Kate, for joining us. Excited for another season of high school football kicking off in just a few short days. So excited to talk about the season. Yep. Thank you for having me on. Last year, over 2,200 yards, just under 2,300 actually, and 30 touchdowns. An incredibly dominant season for you and your team goes 10-2 and two to the district final as well. Now, what kind of season was that? What led to all of your success individually? And of course, then that carried over to help your team as well. Uh, Yeah, really uh, started with my team. My team just knew, believed in me and they knew that uh, like when I'm getting the ball, I'm going to get at least more than three yards at least. And our coach believed in me because he let me run the ball quite a lot. And uh, yeah, that's what I feel like started that. Yeah, you mentioned your coach believing in you. That's a big thing for success, you know, kind of having just that confidence, knowing that you've got the key, you've got the green light from someone like your coach that you trust and, and that runs the show. Do you think that played a big part in some of your personal success? Yeah, he uh, he's always watching me around school and make sure I'm doing the right thing. And of course, I'm always doing the right thing. And uh, yeah, he really, he really keeps up on me and makes sure I'm doing fine every day. Okay, sounds like a great coach. Now, like I said, 10-2 and two for your team. How can you guys build on last season going into this one? Is there some momentum you feel like you guys can carry from last year into a new year? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, last year, we were always the underdog. And this year, now they think that we should be able to be every team. And uh, I'm looking forward to making those two losses, two wins. Absolutely. You mentioned the two losses, and I know those aren't fun to talk about, but both to Maryville, you lost by 11, and then you lost by five in the playoffs. Yeah. It ultimately ends your season. But, I mean, you look at those two games, those are two very winnable games, you know, within your reach. What are the little things that made the difference in those games, and how have you guys maybe improved on some of those things to turn those into a win now? Uh, Yeah, I mean, you can pick a lot of things that have happened that went wrong. Uh, my key thing was uh, the flags, for sure. Mm -hmm. The flags really cost us. And um, this year we've definitely been working on stop with the personal fouls, the offsides, and uh, we're just ready to fix those mistakes. How do you, uh, you know, give me a little insight maybe into into your coach or your, your team. How do you how do you fix some of those those plays that are avoidable, the flags, you know, the personal fouls, any specific thing you guys do in practice or in drills to simulate, you know, avoiding that in a game? Yeah, coach always says that muscle memory. And so every practice, we practice flags, like preventing flags and stuff like that. Okay, sounds good. Tell me about some other key players for this year's team. We'll start with the offense, first of all. Um, Definitely a wide receiver and a quarterback. Quarterback is young, and uh, I really think he has a good motivation to uh, win some games this year. But A and Connect Offers are quarterback. And uh, I really tr I, I trust him to carry our team as a quarterback. You know, that's the most important spot on the offense. And, uh, I mean, he gets me the ball and he passes it. And I, I'll, I'll, just, I'll follow him through the season. And um, pretty much there's no soft spots. We're all pretty key players, do our 111. Kate, I hear that the O-line there for your team this year could be pretty dangerous. Tell us a little bit more about them. Yeah, we don't really have the size, but we definitely have the heart and we have the speed. And uh, people will be surprised by how well my O-line performs. Mm -hmm. How many returners for the O-line from last season? Uh, Only two or three, I think. Three, I think. Three. Well, hey, you, you get, you know, at least a few core guys back from a team last year that allowed you to, to rush for 2,200 yards. So, you know, I think that's uh, going to be a pretty good combo, too. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, and how about the defense? You know, tell us about that side of the ball, any key players, and what kind of mentality or identity that the defense will have this year. Uh, we have really good linebackers. One of them is Landon Nolan. And uh, it's also – it's his junior year, so he still has another year, and he's really picked up big on uh, all defense. Okay. 
I, I said, uh, you know, what's the identity of the defense, but how about overall, like for this team, if you had to, had to describe your team to somebody that hadn't watched Savannah football or hadn't watched you guys play, where would you start? Um, I would say we're a hard nosed team. We don't, we, uh, we aren't really soft. I think we'll, every team will be surprised by how uh, heavy we hit. Yeah. Take me back to your freshman season. Where has this team grown the most in your about to be four years of high school football? Uh, football knowledge, I would say. Everyone knows, like, you know, if we have a fourth and one, we know we got to get this in order to keep the drive going. And they just, you know, everyone does their one eleventh. And this year, our senior year, we're all just a bunch of leaders. Okay. Is there any one game that you're looking forward to, one that has, you know, really been a rivalry or a big game for Savannah. Of course, week one is, as I think on everybody's mind right now, but for you, is there one that sticks out? Uh, just, uh, the playoffs really. I just wait for the playoffs, you know I mean? Get our get back for sure. I like it. Well, with such a dominant season last year and so many yards, I'm sure there's some colleges calling UK. What is recruiting like for you right now? Oh, uh, I have a few offers on the table, and I'm still uh, looking for some more by the end of this season for sure. Describe Missouri high school football, uh, like looking through your schedule and, and the type of teams that you play, and what makes football here in Missouri and the KC metro area special? Uh, I feel like, uh, you know, people from more south get drafted or get picked up easier, mm -hmm. and I feel like they're, they uh, sleep on the north side of Missouri. Okay. I like it. Well, we know there's talent everywhere and uh, definitely starting with you there in Savannah. Just how excited are you for the season? Um, have you been, you know, waiting for this for a while? I'm sure the off season felt like a pretty long time for you and the summer workouts. I mean, you, you used to tell me right now that you guys are practicing in the morning uh, game week because it's so hot out. We've seen the the scorching hot temperatures. So um, I'm sure you guys are ready to get back out on the field on Friday night. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm so excited. Last year, after the season, I was like, give me one more game because I, I was ready to play. And now it's here, and I'm just so ready. It's my senior year, so I got I to perform well. Okay. Well, we're looking forward to it. And before I let you go, you know, let's put football aside and, and learn a little bit more about you. What do you like to do in your free time? Uh, I like to hang out with my friends. I mean, go, to, go eat somewhere probably okay. with the team. That way we get our chemistry up. Okay. What is uh, your favorite type of food? Uh, burritos, definitely. Burritos. Okay. Do you have a do you have a good burrito spot around around Savannah or anything like that? Uh, I mean, just Chipotle, really. Okay. Well, that's not. I mean, come on, it's not authentic Mexican. Oh, uh, well, there's one the Avalardos. That's what it's okay. called. But I am a fan of Chipotle, so I won't fault you there. Uh, yeah. At school, what is your favorite subject? Uh, I like history. Okay, history. You have any cool history facts you can slap on us right now? Um, not really. I I, I don't really have anything right now. Okay, what's it's your what's like, what's like your favorite era or you you know your favorite time in the past? The eighties for sure. The eighties. I wish I grew up in the eighties. Your parents probably lived in the eighties, right? Definitely yes. Well, Kate, thank you so much for joining us here and talking a little bit about the season. Like I said, just a few short days away. So we're really excited. Hope it's a great year for you and your team. And thanks again for joining us. Yep. Thank you.